Hey everybody, it's Simon from Inclips and welcome to another video for British Monroe. Today I'm going to be stepping out of my comfort zone a bit and doing some dry ink pad smooshing. I love this technique and it took me a while to actually master the technique, but I'm going to be showing you how to do it today with some liquid masking. So I'm using the Butterfly Sentiment stamp set and I'm going to be lining up all four butterflies onto a piece of cardstock using my Misty. The reason why I'm using the Misty stamping tool today is because I can get a really crisp and dark image and also it's super easy to line up straight on the Misty because there are so many different grid lines and rulers on the Misty so it really helps with lining up and since this is going to be my focal, I really wanted it to be nice and straight. So once these butterflies are all lined up, I'm going to be using some black ink and stamping them down onto my cardstock. I wanted these to be super crisp and dark, so I'm stamping them down about three times. And the nice part about the Misty stamping tool is you can stamp it over and over and keep getting a darker image every single time, which is super nice, and it'll stamp in the exact same spot. I'm making two cards today, so I'm going to be stamping these on two different panels of cardstocks because if I have the tools out and the things out, I might as well make two cards with two different color schemes. So I'm just stamping these down, giving them really nice pressure on every single butterfly, and I love how much detail these butterflies have. So now I'm using rubber cement. Um, you can find this almost anywhere, and I put down a really big glob there, but you don't really need to use that much. Only a little bit will go a long way with this stuff, and it's a pretty thick product as well. So take a paintbrush that you do not want, it has to be a pretty fine paintbrush, and um, you have to use this for the masking fluid every single time you use it, because it will dry out your paintbrush and it will kind of ruin your paintbrush as well. Go all the way up to the lines, um, creating kind of a medium layer. You don't want it too thick, because then it won't dry, and you don't want it too thin, because then the ink will seep through. You want it just a medium coat, just enough. And then once you have that all covered, and it doesn't have to be super perfect or anything, and it can go out of the lines just a little bit, um, you're going to want to give it 10 to 15 to 20 minutes to dry depending on how um, thick of a coat you made it. And also the thicker the coat of this um, rubber cement that you add will actually keep some of the liquid out and you really do want to wait its full drying time because I um, still had mine a little bit tacky when I added the ink on and it didn't um, work too well and the ink kind of seeped through just a little bit so make sure it's dry when you add the ink on. Now I'm using this happy sentiment and I'm going to be embossing it with some British Monroe embossing colors. So I'm going to be using that silver color here and then I'm also using this gilded color. And I'm using a different warm and a cool because the warm colors will be for the reds and the um, silver will be for the blue since it's a cooler color. So once I'm done heating and bossing these, I'm going to be using my Fisker scissors to fussy cut these out. I find that these are important because they're kind of spring assist scissors, so it really helps when fussy cutting, and I don't believe that there is a die set for this stamp set. It's really easy to fussy cut. You're just going to remember to move your paper along with it, and you'll get a much cleaner line rather than moving your scissors. So now I'm using a variety of different uh, dye inks, and I'm also going to use some of the British Monroe chalk inks to add my ink onto the surface. You don't want to be too heavy-handed while you do this because you don't want it to seep through that liquid masking, um, but you should be fine if you waited the full amount of time. And also, I wanted a really messy look along the edges, and I didn't want to go fully to the edge. So I'm going from darkest to lightest, kind of in an ombre effect, and here is where I messed up. You're going to want to grab a rag. I did use my fingers at the beginning, and it just wipes the ink onto the surface where you masked, so it really kind of ruins your work. But I did like some of that look where there was some splotches of blue in between that white area. And I'm also going to move on to my red one here. So I'm using some dark red at the bottom. Then I'm using that, moving my, onto my British Monroe color. So both of the middle colors on these cards are the British Monroe chalk ink. And then that top color I'm going to be using is a much lighter version of the color, almost to a pink. And here is where I kind of figured it out. You're going to want to use a rag and kind of dab away at the color. And then once you're done kind of getting rid of the color on the top layer, then you can rub it off. You'll still get some of those particles um, of color on the inside. And I actually did really like that rather than just stark white. You could probably also use like an alcohol swab or something to get that off of there um, before you rub the color off. So then I added it onto some black card bases and I um, added my sentiment onto the card and then I was finished. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you really enjoyed it. Stop over by BritishMonroe.com and there will be a blog post over there as well as at my blog Inclips.com. If you were interested in any of the products, they will all be listed and linked down below. On screen right now, I have two different videos that I hope you guys will enjoy. The first one is another kind of messy watercolor video and the second one is using the Misty to mass produce cards. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys very soon in another card making or crafting video. Bye!